Continuous blood sugar monitors are now available over the counter, and it's been a growing trend for people to use them even if they don't have diabetes. Dr. Akshay Sial reports. Where are you going for sushi? I'm going to Izakaya. Have you been there? No. Do you ever notice people with those plastic circles on their arm? Does it hurt? It doesn't hurt. Well, those are glucose monitors that measure your blood sugar in real time continuously. It's actually really easy. There's an applicator that you take out and you basically just put it on your arm. They're usually worn by people with diabetes, like Dr. Mike Natter, an endocrinologist at NYU Langone Health. When I was diagnosed in 1994, would have to finger stick and get a static data point of blood sugar in that moment. I equate this to trying to fly an airplane with a blindfold on. And these continuous glucose monitors remove that blindfold. Here's how it works. The sensor attaches to your arm, then connects to an app, where it constantly keeps you updated on your blood sugar, even showing you how things like diet, exercise, and sleep can affect it. Monitoring my diet has really helped. Figuring out what foods affect your sleep and your mood, energy, okay. it's really interesting. For about a year now, the continuous glucose monitors have been available over the counter and even longer in places like the UK. Well, I think anything that helps someone get a little bit healthier is such an advantage. Where Claire Reach discovered its benefits back in 2021. What I learned pretty quickly is that for a kind of a food that I know is gonna affect me quite a lot, um, maybe higher in carbohydrates or higher in sugars or something like that, then if I go for a walk afterwards or something, that does make me feel a lot better and stops me having a crash. But for all its benefits, like having the potential to identify diabetes earlier, there are also some challenges. First off, it's not cheap, with the most popular brands costing upwards of $1,000 a year. And there could be an issue about how people may interpret the results. At the end of the day, these devices were not necessarily designed and developed and calibrated for a normal population. And so there is some variance to these blood glucose readings. And that could obviously cause a lot of alarm and a lot of uh, emotional distress. In other words, sugar spikes, especially after eating, can be normal. And in the past, similar glucose monitors have had to be replaced because of bad readings. It was like the only like good healthy option. Which got us thinking, for those who don't have diabetes but want to wear one, what number should we be concerned about? Generally speaking, if the blood sugars remain above 180 for a period of time, um, that's hyperglycemia. That's something that I would be a little bit curious to want to look into more. That was Dr. Akshay Sayal reporting.